In this example, our goal is to calculate the amount of excess reactant that's going to be left over after the reaction is over. So we have a reaction here, a balanced chemical reaction of two moles of aluminum plus three moles of chlorine gas yields or forms two moles of aluminum chloride. Not aluminum trichloride, just aluminum chloride. This is an ionic compound. So we have a reaction chamber. We have three moles of aluminum mixing in with 5.3 moles of chlorine gas. And we want to calculate how much excess will remain. Well, the first thing we need to figure out is which one we will be the excess reactant. One of these is the limiting reactant, one is the excess reactant, and here's how we can calculate that. We can choose one of these numbers, doesn't matter which one, and in this example I'm going to start off with the three moles of aluminum. If we had three moles of aluminum, then we are going to calculate how much chlorine gas we need for a complete reaction to form aluminum chloride. We start off with three moles of aluminum over one, and then we are going to use a mole to mole ratio from the coefficients between aluminum and chlorine. So for every two moles of aluminum, there are three moles of chlorine. Now the reason I wrote the aluminum on the bottom instead of the chlorine is because I know that in a stoichiometry problem, I always need the units to cancel out diagonally. That's just the nature of dimensional analysis problems. Now when I type this in a calculator, I type out three times three divided by two to get 4.5 moles of chlorine. What this number represents is, if I had three moles of aluminum, then I would need 4.5 moles of chlorine. We compare the amount that we need to the amount that's available, and 5.3 moles of chlorine is available. Now think about this. We need to figure out if we have enough chlorine. Think about it in terms of money, if that helps. You have $5.30 available, and you need $4.50. Do you have enough? Yes, we do. There's enough chlorine, and therefore chlorine is the excess reactant. Not only is it the excess reactant, but now we want to calculate how much will be in excess. And so let's use that money analogy again. If we had $5.30 and we only needed $4.50, dollars and fifty cents how much is left over it's a simple subtraction problem after that as long as you do the calculation for the excess reactant you can easily just subtract the two numbers and calculate how much is left over or how much is in excess this is how much chlorine will be left over after the reaction is over and after you've made the maximum amount of aluminum chloride